Now let's get to the most exciting part of the video where I teach you how you can create your first Amazon storefront. It's a step-by-step -step process and it's going to be super fun so let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Ria Mittal and I work as a product evangelist at SellerApp and welcome to part 2 of creating your Amazon storefront. So in part 1 we took a deep understanding of what is Amazon storefront, features, how it works, how you can market your Amazon storefront and overall how Amazon storefront is going to make you stand out on the platform because Amazon as you already know is very crowded. So if you're looking forward to enhance your branding, Amazon Storefront and A-plus content opens a lot of door for you. If you're planning to create your A-plus content, if you want to know more about A-plus content, next week we are going to be talking about that. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified every time we post a new video. So before we move on with today's video, I would suggest you go watch the part one of how to create your Amazon storefront because you need to understand the processes and what happens in the back end to first creating your Amazon storefront account. So watch the first video and then move on to this video. And if you do not want to do that, well, I have a quick recap for you ready, but I would still strongly suggest that you watch the first video so you don't miss out on a crucial information. But let's get started with the recap. So Amazon storefront is one of the key features that you can use to enhance your brand visibility and also boost sales and customer loyalty to your listing and to your product. So Amazon storefront allows you to set up a virtual store on amazon.com and you also get your personalized link to that store. So of course, if you're conducting marketing activities outside of Amazon, make sure to include that link, uh, your storefront link in the marketing activities so you can redirect customers from all of your marketing channels to your Amazon storefront and increase customer loyalty, sales, and people tend to spend more time on your listings as well. So as a brand owner, you can design multiple pages with one of your best performing products on Amazon store, and you can do so much more and this will enhance your brand messaging. And brand messaging is something that I think is very important for your brand because customer loyalty is, is going to make sure that you have recurring orders. However, to use this powerful tool and A plus content, you need something called as brand registry and brand registry on Amazon currently is very popular and I would suggest strongly for it. We did a video with Amy Weiss and the video will be on the screen right now. So make sure to go watch that video if you are not brand registered and if you're wondering if brand registry is something that you should be looking into. So it's pretty easy to design your storefront. Amazon already gives you a pre-designed template. So you, all you have to do is drag and drop. You can add a description, you can add your product photos and so much more to enhance and make that brand messaging very strong. So let's see how Amazon store enhances your user's experience. First, it gives an enhanced mobile shopping experience for customers. Second, you can capitalize on both internal and external sources of traffic by adding your storefront URL that Amazon gives you. Three, boosting organic ranking on Amazon SERPS or search engine results page. So this increases your search volume. Four, Amazon provides an opportunity to popularize your brand to newer audiences. And fifth, you can promote your products to pre-existing customers as well. And that is very important. Now let's get to the most exciting part of the video where I teach you how you can create your first Amazon storefront. It's a step-by-step -step process and it's going to be super fun. So let's get started. So the first step is to make sure that you are brand registered. If you are not brand registered yet, you will have to apply for Amazon brand registry program. Apart from that, uh, we highly recommend you are brand registered because it protects your brand on Amazon and it also increases um, customer loyalty. So of course, we highly suggest that you are brand registered. To apply for Amazon brand registry program, here are the details that you need to provide. I would suggest you click a screenshot uh, towards the end so you have the list in handy and you can start preparing for um, the application. So first comes your brand name as registered with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Next comes your brand serial number, which is USPTO registered. List of countries where your products are manufactured as well as distributed. Your brand's name image on your product your product label image, and your product images. 
So once you have made sure that you are brand registered on Amazon, we can go ahead with step two. So once you've made sure that you are brand registered on Amazon, you have to log into your Seller Central account and go to stores. So once you do that, you will be shown a list of the brands that qualify for your store creation. Choose your brand. Keep in mind that each brand can only have one store. So let's click on create a store. So as you can see, Amazon has taken us to the store builder page. Here we will begin the process of creating your Amazon brand store. The first thing that you need to do is to enter your bland display name and you have to make sure that you leave out the phrases such as shop now or other information such as LLC. Then you also have to upload your brand logo and Amazon has given uh, some measurements for the images such as 400 into 400 pixels. So let's keep that in mind. So let's move on to the next step. This is where you create a home page for your brand store. This is what your customers will see the first when they enter you. So make sure you spend some time here and be as innovative as possible because this is what decides if a customer is going to stay on your store or leave. So first you need to enter a meta description of your home page. This is what appears in Google search results when a potential customer searches for your product. So you have to make sure that this is informative yet attractive at the same time. You also have to make sure that there are keywords in here that will make sure that Google algorithm is showing your Amazon store on the search page. So do um, some keyword research and make sure that you're keeping up with Google algorithm as well. So once you have entered your page meta description, we are moving to templates. So as you can see, you can customize any template by moving, adding or deleting the section of the content. So Amazon will give you a few options to choose from. When you're selecting a template, you need to think about the purpose of your store. For example, the template a marquee will suit better if you want to tell your brand story as well as showcase some of your best products. If you just want to highlight your products though, Product highlight is something that I would recommend because this will highlight your best selling product. If you want more options for product highlight, you can also use product grid and you can enter your uh, best selling products if you want to or products that you want people to look at or potential customers to look at and buy from. If you do not like any templates that are given by Amazon here, you can click on blank and create a template from scratch. So for this demo, I will be using the template marquee and let's create the page. Now let's start building the store. First, let me show you how you can add a new page for each subcategory. So first you have to go to the option called add page, which will be on the left side of the screen. And then you need to add a page title and a page meta description. You need to choose a template for the page next. Select a template depending on what you want to show on your subcategory page. So for example, if you want to showcase some of your products, you can either select product highlight or product uh, grid. For this purpose of the demo, I will be selecting product highlight and clicking on create the page so you can add a new tab. There you go. If you want to categorize your product further within a subcategory, you can create a drop down menu within the subcategory tab. You can add a drop down menu by clicking the tab you want to add the subcategory in and click on add a page. Again, you will be given a navigation title and meta description. You can select whichever template you want and click on create page and you will have a subcategory. So the next thing you want to do is to add an image to the header section of the store. The header image is important. It is where you can showcase your brand logo, brand image or tagline in a prominent way to anyone who's visiting your store. Make sure to follow Amazon's guideline for banner image. To upload a banner image, click on the header section, which is right here, and you can upload your image right here. Now let's start customizing the store by adding new sections to your home pages and sub pages. So you can use these sections or tiles to show your product, product images, images with text, shoppable images, text, video, background video, and so much more. So if you want to add a new section, you can do that by clicking on add a new section. You can add a split section, you can add a product, images, or so many things uh, that Amazon has given. So to add this in your page or store, you have to click on it and you can select anything that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this and there you go. It's that easy. If you want to showcase multiple products within the home page or any other given subcategories, you can either select product grid, which should be somewhere here. So yeah, you can either select product grid or gallery tile. 
It is simple, click on the tile where you want to show your products and click on the product within the tile type. I would suggest you add your top selling products to your potential customers. So spend some time and play around with all the options that I've shown you now and figure out what works the best for your brand. So once you're done building your Amazon storefront, make sure that you do a thorough review of the storefront. So here are the things that you should be looking for. First is grammatical errors, spelling mistakes, branding or image inconsistencies, issues with navigation, product images, and content tiles. So if you want to see how your storefront looks um, in preview or how it will look once Amazon has approved your Amazon storefront, you have to click on preview on the drop down menu. You can select your desktop view and your mobile view here. Once you're done with preview and you're happy with how your storefront looks, you can submit your storefront for publishing to Amazon. Amazon usually reviews your store within 24 hours and once your store is approved, it will be published to your customers to see. If you're getting stuck anywhere, just click on help and Amazon has really good content on store creation guide, store creative guidelines, example stores, content acceptance policy and so much more. So do not hesitate on clicking on help and checking out their articles. And that is it. You have created a beautiful Amazon storefronts for all the customers and your potential customers to see. And it was that easy. So that concludes our step-by-step -step guide on how you can create your own storefront on Amazon. I think they have done a great job with their intuitive builder that helps you um, create your storefront with such an ease. I suggest you experiment with more videos, styles, images, and see what works best for you. And yes, if you have any more questions, do not forget to leave them in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Your support means a lot to us. And I would like to thank all our subscribers for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, well, hello and welcome to Seller App. And make sure you click that subscribe button to join our Seller App community. If you like this video, make sure to click that like button and leave a comment uh, down below telling us that you like this video. And I will see you all next week. We are going to be creating A plus content and I'll be giving you more information on A plus content. So, of course, until the next time, happy selling.